Hi, this is Pasha. In this video, I want to show you how to use Google Ads Editor and how to upload your campaigns into Google Ads using Editor. Google Ads Editor is an application that Google provides for you so, can, so that you can upload your campaigns or make multiple changes at the same time to your campaigns through spreadsheets and upload them into Google Ads. When you want to make a new campaign or make multiple changes to your existing campaigns on Google Ads, the problem is that there are so many links, so many layers that it takes time. It's really time consuming to make changes to all your ad groups, to your keywords, to your ads and other settings of your campaigns. So, by using Google Ads Editor, you can make multiple changes at the same time and use your time efficiently. I'm going to show you how to use Google Ads Editor. The first thing that you need to do is to search for Google Ads Editor on Google and download the application from Google website. After you download the application and install it on your system, it's very easy. Yeah. You just need to download and click on the downloaded file and install the Google Ads Editor. And after you open Google Ads Editor, and this is how it looks. This is the interface of Google Ads Editor. The first thing that you need to do is click on the menu on, on the account and click on open. If this is uh, the first time that you are using Google Ads Editor, uh, first you need to uh, log in to your Google account and then connect your Google Ads accounts to Editor. The account that I want to work a bit is this one. I want to create a new campaign uh, on this account. After you open your account, it asks you uh, uh, what you want to download, what campaigns you want to download from your campaign, your account. I'm going to download all the campaigns. And because this is a new account, there is not any campaign or anything in this account. So we are going to work from scratch. I'm uh, closing the previous menu, the previous editor, which was from another account. Okay, this is the interface of our uh, Google Ads editor for a totally new account. There's no any campaign, no previous data in this account. And we are going to make a new campaign from uh, scratch through Google Ads Editor and upload it to Google Ads platform. So in order to create your uh, campaigns, first you need to have your keywords, your ad groups, your campaign name, and your ads headlines and descriptions. This is a campaign that I'm going to create. It's for a roof, a roof service company, a flat roof company. I've done my keyword research. I've decided uh, to use these columns as an ad group and each column, uh, each ad group consists many keywords. So I'm showing you that uh, I've already have my keywords and ad groups prepared. So in order to upload these keywords and ad groups and campaign into Google Ads Editor, first uh, open a new Excel sheet. Uh, you need uh, four columns, at least four columns for to import your campaigns and keywords into Editor. The first co uh, column is your campaign. How many campaigns you want to upload? Let's say we want to upload only one campaign right now. The second uh, column that you need on Excel 
I'm going to zoom a, a little so that you can see easier. So the second column that we need is uh, our outgroups and the list and name of our outgroups that we want to use. Then for the uh, third column, uh, we are going to uh, use our keywords. And the last column is the keyword match type. You can type match type or criterion uh, which is another title for match types in Google Ads Editor. Pay attention to the titles. You need to write these titles exactly as I uh, put them here. Uh, for example, for campaign, if you uh, write it like this, or for ad group, you write it like this. Uh, when you want to import your data, Google Ads Editor won't be able to read your data, so it won't import your data your campaigns and your changes. I will show you later how to get these titles um, if you already have some campaigns in your account. So I already have my data prepared, my keyboard, my ad group. So I'm going uh, to copy all my Add groups and keywords into my Excel file. Uh, this uh, the column C is the list of the, my keywords that I want to use. Uh, column B is the equivalent ad groups for each keyword. Uh, as you see, all of the first. Uh, five rows are the same ad group because this ad group contains five keywords. You need to put each, uh, each keyword in a separate row and indicate the ad group that you want to this keyword to sit in. Or for example, for the next ad group, I have seven keywords and so on. I have the list of all my keyboards and the equivalent ad groups. You need to specify what match type uh, you want to use. Uh, you could use either broad, exact, or phrase match type. I'm going to use all my keyboards as phrase for this campaign. Uh, if you want uh, to use each, uh, one keyword it has too much type, uh, you need, uh, for example, let's say we want to have another ad group for this keyword in another match type. Uh, what we should do is just copy them and change the match type from phrase to exact. Even though they are the same, these two are the same keyboard, but their match type is different and their ad group is different too. You can uh, put both of the uh, match types in the same ad group if you want. Uh, but if uh, you are using keyboards in different match types for each keyboard, you need a separate row. As I said, uh, I want to use only phrase key uh, keyboards for this campaign. And you need to give a name to your campaign. Uh, let's say mm, we want to uh, name it as Roof Campaign 2002. And I'm going to copy this uh, campaign name into all my all my cells for other. keyboards and ad groups. You can even have uh, two keyboards in the same file and up two campaigns in the same file and upload uh, two campaigns at the same time. Uh, for example, uh, uh, you have these uh, keyboards for this campaign. You can have another campaign uh, 
Actually, I wanted to name it 2022, not 2002. Okay, let's say we have uh, this uh, 2000, uh, roof campaign 2022. We want to have another campaign for renovation. This is a totally separate campaign. Uh, so we could add, we will add uh, the ad groups and keywords for this campaign the same way as we did for the previous campaign. So there's no any limit on how many campaigns you want to import at the same time. And if you want uh, your campaign to be a manual CPC, you need to give a max uh, bid to your keywords too. Uh, you uh, create a new column for max speed. You give your manual CPC to your keywords uh, based on the re uh, research that you've done. You just put the numbers. For example, if uh, I want to put the CPC for flat roofing as uh, $2, I put two here, just the number two. I give uh, another bid for another keyword. So, for each keyword, you can give uh, the manual CPC that you want. It's uh, in the case that you want to, the bidding strategy of your campaign be a manual CPC. Uh, I'm not going to give um, a max speed to my keywords because uh, I'm going to um, put my bidding strategy as max conversion and I'll do it after I upload this campaign. So this keyword, this sheet is for our keywords and ad groups and campaigns and the match type of the keywords. After this, we need another data for our ads so that we could import our ads too. We can import our campaign keywords and ad groups um, through editor and we can create the rest of the campaign through platform or we can continue uh, uploading everything through Google Ads editor. Just remember that you, uh, if you, you are uploading your keywords, you certainly need to have your ad group and your campaign in your file too. Uh, but uh, you can upload your campaign without keywords too. You, uh, in this case, uh, you will upload your campaign and your ad groups. So, but uh, there won't be any keyword in your campaign. You need to upload your keywords later or you need to create your keywords through manually through Google Ads. Now I'm going to open a new sheet in my file for uh, let's say uh, responsive ads. Again, uh, the data that we need for our ads, uh, it must uh, contain your campaign name. Let me zoom more so that you can see better. You need to have your ad group. You need uh, to have your ad type. Uh, by ad type, I mean uh, it could be either responsive search ads or uh, expanded text ads. And after that, uh, you need to have your headlines. Headline one, uh, headline two, headline three, headline four, or if you will have more headlines for your RSA, for your responsive ads, you could put headline five, headline six. If you don't have any data for who those headlines, you don't need to uh, create column for them. You can create a column for headline five and uh, put all the data as blank, but uh, if you don't have any data, you don't need to have headline five. After headlines, we need our descriptions, we could have up to four descriptions for our uh, responsive search ads. I'm going to put uh, 
description two, description three, description four, and yeah, and now we have the list of our headline descriptions. The other thing that you need uh, for an ad is your landing page, your URL, the column for your landing page is called final URL. Uh, remember that you can upload also your final URL through keyboards too. You can add a, a URL to your keyboards uh, if you want. But here we just want to have our final URL in, ad, in our ad level. And we want to have a a display pass. You can have two displays uh, pass for your ads. Uh, there are other uh, things that you could upload for your ads, such as tracking, uh, such as custom URLs and mobile URL, but custom parameters, sorry. But if you don't have those data, they are not necessarily. If you don't have those data, you don't need to put them or you can upload them later. And if you have data, you want to have, for example, a tracking template for your ad, you can add another column for your tracking template. Once again, I will show you later after we upload this campaign how to get this title, this headline, this title, titles for your columns. As I said, it's very important that you put your titles exactly as Google Ads Editor reads them. So these are our headline, uh, our column titles that we have. Now we have we are going to fill in the rows and the cells with our actual data. I already uh, have my data prepared, so I'm going to upload them. And for campaign name, uh, this was our campaign name. For our ad groups, uh, you don't need to have uh, all these ad groups. You don't need to copy all these uh, duplicate ad groups. You just need to upload each ad group as once. In order to do that, I'm going to remove du duplicates from my ad group. Uh, so here are the list of my, uh, my ad groups that I'm going to copy them here. And uh, each ad group must have a, a specified campaign name. As I said, you can have, you can upload multiple campaigns. For example, if uh, you have two campaigns, you can upload uh, the ads uh, for two campaigns at the same time. You just need to have data for each ad and each campaign in a separate row. For ad type, uh, we could have uh, either responsive search ad or we could have expanded text ad. It depends uh, what, what kind of ad, what type of ad you want to upload, you want to have for your campaign. Uh, if it is a responsive search ad for ad type, you need to put responsive search ad here. If your ad is expanded text ad, you need to put a uh, ad type as expanded text ad. I'm going to upload all my ads as responsive search ads. Now we are going to add our headlines. I already have my headlines uh, prepared, so I'm going to upload them. Uh, so this, uh, these are the headlines for each uh, ad group. So this ad group, and let me highlight them in colors so that uh, you can see better. So 
so the first row is the ad for this ad group and as I show you in the showed you in the previous sheet that first ad group contains five keywords in the first sheet we are just uploading our keywords our ad groups and our campaigns uh, in the second sheet, we don't need keywords because we are going to upload them separately and in, uh, this ad, these headlines are just for this ad group. The second ad group has its own, ha its own headlines and description and landing page in, in the row 3. Row 4 is totally another ad for another ad group. Um, my headline 2. Uh, uh, let's say we want to pin our headline one as uh, we want to pin it as uh, headline one. Uh, so uh, we are going to add another column for headline one only. Call it headline one position. And by putting one here, it means that. Our headline one uh, will be pinned as H1, as headline one for our ad. If you're not familiar uh, with RSAs, uh, when you pin a headline one, pin a headline as H1 or H2, uh, when a user searches for your keyboard and your ads show, your headline one uh, will always show as H1. But if you don't put it uh, one here, uh, headline uh, this um, depending on number of headlines that you have. For example, if you have ten headlines for your ad, uh, Google will decide which headlines to show. It might show headline one or it might not show. But if you pin it as H one or H two, this headline one will always show up in your search re search results. Now we are going to copy our other headlines. These are data for headline three. For headline one. As you see, not all my ads include a head, headline four. Some of them have headline four, some of them don't have, and it's no problem at all. I mean, even if you don't have any headlines, you just have head, headline two, headline one, doesn't matter. Uh, when you upload your file, only that column, that headline one or headline two will be uploaded. Whatever column that you have data in, uh, it will upload the data. For example, now we are going to add a headline five column, but I'm not going to add any data. So when we upload this file, this column is not going to make any change because there's no any data in that. So our ads will be uploaded only with headline one, headline two, headline three, and headline four. Now let's uh, copy, uh, let's fill in our descriptions, columns two. Um, These are my description one. I'm going to use the same description one across all our ads. Uh, description two, description three. And description four. As you see, uh, I don't have any data in our description four, so it doesn't matter. Uh, really if I have this column or not. Now we are going to upload our final URL, our landing page. Uh, for final URLs I already have, they are all the same across all campaigns. So I'm adding data as final URL uh, for my ads. And for display pass, uh, how I want my ads to my URL show in search results, I'm going to fill in data. 
also you could have a, a, a pass through or not and, uh, whether you want it or not so excellent now we have all our keywords ad groups and campaigns in one sheet plus match type and in another sheet uh, we have our campaign ad group ad type and headlines and description of final URL for our ads. Now we, uh, I want, I'm going to upload this uh, data into Google Ads Editor. Uh, it might take up some time for you, it might take some time for you to get familiar with the interface of Google Ads Editor. I'm sure with two or three times practice, uh, you will get very familiar. Here uh, uh, in this, uh, top left uh, section, you will see the list of your campaigns. In the, to uh, in the top bottom, in the left bottom, uh, bottom left uh, section of your Google Ads Editor, uh, it's your menu, your layers, you know. Uh, you could uh, go, uh, you could click on campaign, ad group, and keywords and all the data uh, for example in campaigns will show up here because right now we don't have uh, any data uh, uh, we don't see anything here after we upload our first campaign uh, you will uh, uh, see the data here and the first step uh, we need to upload our list of campaigns ad groups and keywords as I said, you could, uh, for example, uh, upload only your campaign column. If you, uh, you want to upload your campaign, I mean, all of these are the same thing, so you don't need to uh, have multiple campaign names. Uh, you just upload this column, but uh, there's no any point really to upload just campaign name because it doesn't save us any time. If you want to upload your campaign uh, here on Google Ads Editor on the bottom left section, you need to click on campaign so that you could upload your campaign. If you want to upload your ad group, let me close this uh, file, I don't need it. If you want to click here to upload your ad group, because yeah, you need to specify uh, which campaign these ad groups belong to, you need to upload both ad group and campaign. You cannot just upload uh, an, a column for ad groups here yeah? because Google Ads doesn't know uh, these ad groups belong to which campaign. So you will upload both your ad group and campaign through uh, ad group section. on your Google Ads platform. We are going to upload uh, key our keywords, uh, ad groups and campaigns at the same time. So this is our file. Uh, all I need to do is just select all my data, uh, copy my data, and then on Google Ads uh, editor interface, on the bottom left section, you need to create a uh, click on keywords and targeting and find keywords. Uh, select on keywords here. And then here you can add your keywords manually if you click on this or you can click on this, make multiple changes so that you can um, bulk import your keywords. I, can, I, can, I I have many keywords and I want to upload them at the same time. I click on this button, make multiple changes. Here on destination, you have two options. Uh, use your selected destination or you, uh, the first one uh, is when you have your columns ready. As I showed you uh, here, uh, we have our column names according to Google Ads Editor. That's why this is very important. Uh, so because we have our column names, uh, we are going to upload my data includes columns for campaigns and ad groups. 
Right now I cannot select this because I don't have any campaign or ad group to add a keyword to. So I have to use my data includes uh, columns for campaigns and ad groups. And now I am going to paste all my keywords in this, the first row, row one, cell one here. Uh, you could uh, either right click and kill, kill click or paste or use control V. Now it shows our data only uh, if you have uh, more than 100 rows in your files, it, it will show you only the first 100 rows. And this is uh, similar to the data in our, key, in our keyword uh, sheet. It contains campaign names, ad group names, keyboard names, and match type names. After you paste your data here, just click on process, uh, just click on process here. Before it, uh, upload, it imports, it's uh, showing you the result of your import. Here it's going to, it's uh, saying that one campaign, uh, it's, it's, it has imported, it has added one campaign, 15 ad groups and 61 keyboards. This is exactly uh, what uh, we uploaded. We had, uh, let me see. Okay, we had 61 keywords, uh, probably uh, 15 ad groups and only one campaign. So if your data are correct, you just click and finish and review. If uh, you feel that uh, your data are not imported correctly, for example, you had two campaigns in your Excel file, uh, but uh, you, you imported two campaigns, but only one campaign is added, uh, you could click on revert and cancel so that those data don't import into a Google Ads editor. Uh, then you could go back to your Excel file and see what was uh, the issue that the campaign, your second campaign wasn't imported. And remember when you uh, select and this uh, button finish and review changes, the data that you imported are imported only on Google Ads Editor. They're not imported into your actual Google Ads account yet. So if you have made any, any mistake or something has gone wrong, you don't need to be worried because nothing has been imported into your Google Ads account yet. We will upload everything through Google Ads Editor into a Google Ads account at the end. After you import your data, here review changes, you press and keep. So as you see now, we have 61 keywords imported into our campaign. These are the list of our keywords that we see. Uh, for location, uh, okay, and as you see this red uh, sign, it shows that there is something wrong, some data are missing. Uh, your keyword, uh, your keywords you need to select on the keyword, keyword on the keyword uh, I section here to check your ad group, just click on your ad group, uh, you could check the settings of your ad groups through uh, selecting each ad group on the right side by selecting control A, you could uh, select all your ad groups and make changes at the same time. For example, you want to pause all your ad groups, you just select them all and change the status to pause here. Because we uploaded our campaign and some data from our campaigns were missing. For example, we didn't specify budget or other stuff. Uh, we are going to uh, click on the campaign, select our campaign uh, row and make this, uh, change the setting of our campaign. For budget, we need to give it uh, some number. Uh, for bid strategy here, as I said, we want to have our be the strategy as maximum conversion without any target CPA. Here you uh, could uh, select your campaign type, whether it is search, display, video, shopping campaign. This is a search campaign that we are uploading, so we don't touch it. 
you could dis disable search partners, search ne network and display a network. Actually, uh, search network, we wanted that to be enabled. You can uh, change the start date of your campaign. For example, we upload our campaign today, but uh, we want the start date to be tomorrow. You can uh, add, specify an end date if you want. And there are other settings that uh, you could uh, make changes. For example, uh, select your devices, only uh, run it on cam cam desktop devices or only run it on mobile, depending on your objective. You can uh, give a bit adjustment to your desktop, to your mobile. The good thing with Google Ads Editor is that you make all these changes uh, in one tab, you know, if you want to make all these changes in a Google Ads platform, you need to go into different tabs, different section. Uh, it takes time, but in Google Ads uh, Editor, you change the settings of your campaign or your keywords or your ad groups all at the same place. That is why it's very useful and quick. Yeah, you could uh, change your language, your location, and your targeting method and other settings that you could play around it. Now we don't have any uh, uh, error button, error red error signal here. So it show, it means that our campaign doesn't have any issue. Now our campaigns are ready, our ad groups are ready, our keyboards are ready. We could either upload this data into our Google platform as, it, as, it, as is or we could add our ads too, so that uh, at the same time, we will upload our campaigns, ad groups, keyboards, and ads into Google Ads. To, in order to uh, upload our ads, uh, similar to keyboard, now in this time we go to ad section here, and because our ad type is responsive search tabs, uh, search ads, we click on responsive search ads. Again, uh, I go to my Excel file on uh, responsive uh, RSA tab. I'm going to copy all this data for our ads. I selected them all and click on copy. Then in your Google Ads editor on responsive search ad section, here on top, uh, select on make multiple changes. Again, you can uh, select your uh, destination, which campaign or ad group you want to have your ads in, or in our case, because we already have specified campaigns and ad groups in our file, we select a destination as my data includes columns for campaign or ad group, the top uh, option here. Here I Paste all my data. Uh, let me copy my data once again. Here I paste all my data, our campaign name, ad group, ad type. Now I'm going to check my data. Everything seems correct. I, mean, I have my headlines, my descriptions. As you see, headline one, uh, the data was empty, was blank in Excel file. It's blank here on Google Ads Editor 2. Uh, our final URL, everything seems okay. Pass one, pass two. Now click on process. It's telling me uh, it's added 225 ads. After I paste all my data, I check all my data, campaigns, ad groups, headlines, everything seems to be correct, descriptions, final URLs, and I click on process. Okay, it says that it adds 15 responsive search ads to my campaign. Let's check it. Yes, as you see, we have 15 uh, ads 
The first one is titles, the 2 to 16 is our ads, which is 15 ads. So it seems correct. Uh, we click on finish and review changes. Here, click on keep. Again, uh, we are on responsive search ad section. We, click, we, we could uh, click on each ad and it has all the columns that we want. Our ad group name, it shows our ad in, is in which ad group. And on the right part, right section, uh, it shows uh, our set, the settings of our ads. Uh, this headline one position is exactly what uh, we uploaded in our file. It's headline one position, we print it as headline one. And it is printed as headline one, we could change it to pin two, pin three, or uh, no pin. Our description, display pass one and two, status, uh, final URL, add strings is pending uh, because we haven't uploaded them yet into Google Ads account. You can add your tracking template here, custom parameters, or you can have a label here. You could create an add new label and uh, add a label to your ad. Or you can add a comment here uh, for your later reference. This comment doesn't upload into Google Ads account, it's just in Google Ads Editor. So, all right. Uh, we have our ads, our keywords, and ad groups, and campaigns. You could make other changes through Google Ads Editor. For example, you could upload your uh, extension site links through uh, either Google, uh, you could add them through uh, here uh, or you could upload them again through Excel. You could uh, into keyboard targeting, you could change your location, you could add a new location. And for example, let's say USA, I want my ad to run from both USA or, and Canada. Uh, you could add neg keyboard negative, negative keywords or other settings that you need. Uh, gender, age, and whatever change that you can make in Google Ads account, you can make it easier in Google Ads Editor too. All right. Uh, and the recommendation, the best recommendation is when you want to upload your campaign, just upload them as pause so that after they are imported into Google Ads account, uh, you could go into your account, your Google Ads account and check them to make sure that everything is correct there. I'm going to close this file. Now to show you how to get the column headlines for your uh, uh, for your Excel files, uh, how to upload them uh, into one of the campaigns that you already have into your Google Ads account, your Google Ads editor. Uh, just go to your ads or your keyboards or whatever uh, data that you want to uh, look at. Here we want to get the headline, the titles for our and responsive search ads in RSA uh, here uh, select all of your ads copy and paste them into an Excel file as you see here you have all your uh, headlines are your headlines for your column so uh, you don't need to memorize these headlines you just copy this some previous data from uh, your Google Ads editor, you so that into Excel, so that you will have uh, your headlines for the next campaign, next day, next uh, uh, batch of data that you want to upload. As you see, there are many more uh, columns uh, that we didn't upload them because we didn't need them, and the same goes for your keywords. 
I'm going to select all my keyboards, upload them into a new file. Uh, when, when you uh, want to upload your Max uh, as CPC, manual CPCs, the column name must be Max CPC. For match type, it could be either match type or criterion type. And the status, uh, also the status of your keyboard, the status of your campaigns, ad group, and all other settings. All right, uh, now we have all our uh, keywords, ad groups, campaigns, and ads, and other settings that we wanted to make change in our Google Ads editor. We want to upload them into a Google Ads account. Uh, let me go to my Google Ads account uh, for this uh, account that we are uploading from editor to show you that right now we don't have any data in this Google Ads account. As you see, there's not any campaign uh, previously. Now we are going up to upload this campaign uh, with all its data, ad groups, keyboards, and ads into Google Ads platform. Here on the top left, uh, you could uh, either select the top uh, option and the name of your account or if you want to upload individual data, for example, if you have 10, uh, 10 campaigns here but you only want to upload one of them, just click on that in the, uh, that specific campaign. We are going to upload all our data here on this top right. There is a button, post changes to this account. We click on post. You could uh, select all campaigns or selected campaigns. Uh, in our case, it doesn't uh, make any difference because we are only uploading our campaign. It's, it's this data before uploading, it's uh, telling you that it's creating one campaign into Google Ads Editor, 15 ad groups, 61 keywords, two location, and 15 responsive search ads. Before clicking on post, uh, you really need, uh, need to pay attention to this data because after you click or your, you click post, every, all this data will be uploaded into your Google Ads editor. You don't want to make any mistakes. For example, if you had a, a 20 ad groups but only 15 ad groups are uploaded, you don't want you know, to make extra work for you. Uh, just click on cancel, go to your ad groups and look for the issues and fix the issues before uploading them so uh, you don't upload incomplete data or wrong data. Again, here post, selected campaigns, uh, and we are ready to upload our data from Google Ads Editor to Google Ads account. Click on post. It doesn't take much time. As you see, it's done and it posted all this data. There was a problem with location that it resolved uh, it. And sometimes, for example, it tells you it for ad groups uh, or for keyboards for whatever uh, row, it tells you, for example, 10, 15 for ad groups. Uh, from 15 ad groups that you wanted to upload, only 10 were uploaded successfully. Here, uh, all our data were uploaded successfully, we close. Now let's go back to Google Ads account. Let's check if our data was uploaded. I'm refreshing the page. Yes, and now you see in our campaigns, we have one campaign that we just Uploaded, it is paused. Uh, let's check ad groups. They are ad, ad groups. It says not eligible because uh, the campaign is not enabled yes, yet. And let's go to our keyboards. If we wanted to upload all these ads, all these keyboards, campaigns, ad groups manually through Google Ads Editor, through Google Ads platform, sorry, 
it would have taken us a lot of time, so many hours. Uh, because we had to click on each menu, uh, click on different things, uh, different options, different settings. It's really a very exhausting task. But through Excel, uh, not necessarily Excel, any spreadsheet you could work with uh, Google Sheet too. Uh, through a spreadsheets and Google Ads Editor, we were able to upload our campaign very quickly. Uh, here I'm going to upload, because our campaign is paused right now, I'm going to select here pause campaigns. Uh, Google Ads Editor is not just for uploading new campaigns. You could make changes to your existing campaigns too. For example, let's say I want to add a max CPC to my keywords. I can either uh, do that through Google Ads and go select them one by one. Uh, for example, um, select this keyword here, max CPC $2. I mean, these numbers are random. You should do your research, your analysis to know how, uh, what uh, CPC, what, uh, 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 max CPC you want to give to your keyboards but uh, if uh, they're going to take you a lot of time manually so again I'm going to copy all my keyboards to my to an uh, Excel file here for max CPC I can calculate my uh, CPCs uh, for each keyword, different keywords, and upload the same file into a keyword section, the same process. And keyword here, make multiple changes, and just after, let's say we gave uh, max CPC to our data, after that, we just paste our data here and upload our files process. Here, this time it doesn't say added, it just says updated. It means that it didn't add any new keyboard, it just updated the existing keyboards and it shows you the changes that it made. It added max CPC to our keyboards. Again, remember after making changes through Google Ads, Editor, you need to post it. Here, uh, all campaigns, keyboards, update. I want to update 61 keyboards. I, I'm not creating any keyboards. I'm updating the existing keyboard and the update is that I'm adding, I've added manu, max CPC to my keyboards. I hope you liked this video. Uh, 